bait in the air conditioning, and it, that's what made the smell really bad. And that's not all. Seniors littered Coons High School with toilet tissue and school papers. Chairs were left hanging from ceiling panels, all part of a senior prank. Good evening, I'm Kelly Phillips. Thank you for joining us. Is it a senior prank taken too far or a crime? That's a question the Coons School District is trying to answer. This year, the prank included catfish bait placed in air vents. Much of a school left in disarray and classes delayed for more than one hour while students and staff cleaned up the mess. KFDM anchor Ashley Gaston reports some students say they had to go home early to get away from the smell. Dozens of Coontz High School students were allowed to leave the campus with their parents Tuesday morning, not long after the school began. I needed to leave because the smell was making me sick and that it was, it was just horrible. Callie West is a freshman at Coontz High. She says the seniors went too far with the traditional senior prank when they put catfish bait in the air conditioning vents Monday night. I think it's overboard. It was... It's, there's a difference between pranking and then going overboard and vandalizing the place. Chairs hanging from the ceiling, tables stacked on top of each other, writing on the wall, notebooks and toilet tissue just about everywhere you look. I don't think we were really thinking like all the way through. We just kind of got in there, just a bunch of kids were like, hey, we're in our school by ourselves. You know, I think, I mean, we should have had some supervision, even though. Lauren works as an adult, unlocked the doors, drove away, and allowed the seniors to go inside as a group. I mean, we were just having fun. We she thought the catfish bait in the air vents wasn't taking things too far. Personally, I think that was funny, but I mean, it last it was worse last night. We put it in there, and I don't. We weren't smart enough to put it in there after we left, so we put it in there when we first got there, and it was really strong. But I but what she calls the fun and games quickly got out of hand. They started gluing doors shut and stuff. They broke the locks off. Um, I mean, there was a lot of vandalized stuff going on, and I mean, I'm sure they weren't, shouldn't did some of the stuff. We tried to tell them not to, but hey, you know, their boys are not going to listen. It took students and faculty an hour and a half to clean up the hallways Tuesday morning. The Coon superintendent says the prank is under investigation. He will decide which students get penalized, if they can walk during graduation, or the possibility of facing criminal charges. I don't think we should have done some of the stuff we did, but hey, it was fun. We had fun. You know, it was our last big bang, I guess. But most of our classmates are kind of mad at us, but hey, you didn't do it. You're getting your diploma. We got in trouble, so. It's what the senior describes as a lesson in life for students at Coontz High School. Whether the end result is called a prank or a crime remains to be seen. In Coontz, Ashley Gaston, Fox 4 News. The superintendent told KFDM News teachers will work with students who don't have study materials to prepare for finals. In some cases, seniors removed the materials from lockers and threw them on the floors. An administrator with the public health department told us there was nothing inside the school that could jeopardize the health of students. A representative from the department watched as students and faculty removed the catfish bait from the air conditioning vents and picked up the papers and toilet tissue. The the story has drawn more than 12,000 views to our KFTM News Facebook page and more than 100 comments. One person wrote, pranks are fun and I played my fair share, but there are lines and when they are crossed, it isn't fun anymore. Facing appropriate consequences won't hurt them. Maybe they will learn from it. And this from another viewer, what's wrong with this country is kids aren't allowed to be kids anymore. This country is more worried about ridiculous things things like pranks at school instead of the real problems at hand. Let them have their fun, then make them clean it. You can view the other comments or offer your own by going to our KFTM News Facebook page.